Skin Care 101. How to decide what skin type you are. Knowing what skin type you are will really help you purchase the right moisturizer for your skin and it will probably keep you using it, especially if you're getting results from it that your skin's benefiting from. There's nothing worse than getting moisturizer and breaking out from it or being irritated and red everywhere, crackly skin from it. So to avoid that, sometimes knowing more about your skin will help you pick out something better for you. When I worked at the makeup counters and people were kind of confused but they just wanted to get started with skincare, I would ask them a couple questions. My theory is, is that if you're out searching for moisturizer or some kind of skincare, you usually know what your skin type is. Usually someone will come up and they'll be like, I am so oily, I put beach sand on my face and then my foundation, nothing's working. Like they're oily. Or someone's like, I just gotta stop exfoliating but my skin won't stop flaking off. So they're really, really dry. So it's usually like if someone's extreme, either way, they know it. There are people that fall in between. There's skin changes that happen from either medication, diet, hormonal changes, whatever the case may be. So I ask them. I say, how does your face feel after you wash it? If you answered tight, then you're probably on the dry side. If you answered slick or greasy, then you're probably oily. If your answer is both tight, slick, or greasy, then you're probably a combination skin type. Most people have combination skin. If you answered irritated and inflamed, then you are probably a sensitive skin type. How long does your makeup last? If your makeup disappears or seems to melt into your skin, then you're an oily skin type. If your makeup looks scaly and flaky, then you're a dry skin type. If you feel like your makeup disappears in oily areas of your face and gets dry and scaly around blemishes, then you're a combination skin type. If you have a hard time ever wearing makeup without irritation, then most likely you have a sensitive skin type. Are you prone to breakouts and dry skin? If you answered yes to this question, you're a combination skin type. Choosing skin care for the skin type is a balancing act. You need to treat dryness as well as breakouts. For example, washing your face with an acne cleanser when you are this type of combination skin can be just as disastrous as putting a thick oily moisturizer on a pimple then if we still weren't coming up with anything, I would ask them how their face feels on a daily basis. Thinking about how your skin feels on a daily basis, on days when you have nothing on your skin, are the best times to tell what your skin is truly like. This is when there aren't any chemicals altering the feeling and appearance of your skin. Sensitive people truly need products that tailor to them, and a doctor is the only person who can point you in that right direction. Cosmetic counter is not the right place for you to buy your skincare, and not as many people are sensitive as they think. Okay, so really 20% of the population is sensitive, but more than 50% thinks they are. Sensitive skin. Your skincare is a very delicate matter. You should always consult a doctor before investing in over-the-counter skincare. If you're not able to consult a doctor, make sure you're looking for products that are hypoallergenic and have very few ingredients. If you find that your skin is suddenly sensitive, you need to think about any changes in your life, diet, medication, hormonal changes. Most people that are truly sensitive have been so all their lives. Just check out my website and I have everything for skincare all in one post. And also too guys, if you are liking these videos, the makeup school videos, give me a thumbs up so I know like I'm going in the right direction. You always leave me awesome comments. I love them. I say this in every video now because I want everybody to know. I know not everybody watches every single video, so I want you all to know how much I love getting your comments and answering them. You make it all worthwhile. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.